let us solve one more problem on product of vectors that is also based on the shortest distance between the skew lines. Let me read the question. Find the shortest distance between the skew lines r bar equals to 6i plus 2j plus 2k plus t times i minus 2j plus 2k where t is a real number and r bar is equal to minus 4i minus k plus s times 3i plus 2j minus 2k where s is a <coughs> real number. So now how to solve this problem? What sort of strategy has to be applied? So that means let us discuss a plan. Here we need to find out the distance between the skew lines r bar is equal to a bar plus t b bar and r bar is equal to c bar plus s d bar. First we need to find out here a minus c vector. So having been evaluated a minus c vector find the product between the b bar and d bar that means we are going to find out another vector that is b cross d vector and find its modulus b cross d and after that once again evaluate a minus b dot b cross d dot product between the two vectors. After that the distance between the skew lines is given by the formula modulus of a minus c dot b cross d upon r over divided by mod of b cross d. So this is the process has to be followed. I already discussed in the previous episode. So that means, so let us solve this problem. So now as step wise, first we have to compare the given equations with r bar is equal to a bar plus t times b bar, write down a bar vector and b bar vector. Compare the second equation of the line vector equation with r bar is equal to c bar plus s times d bar and write down c bar vector and d bar vector and whatever procedure we just we have discussed. So that is to be here adopted or implemented. So let us solve this problem this problem now. So let us solve this problem. So using as for our plan. Solution given that given that equations of skew lines are r bar is equal to 6i plus 2j plus 2k plus t times i minus 2j plus 2k say equation 1. Second one r bar is equal to minus 4i minus k plus s times 3i minus 2j minus 2k say equation 2. Comparing with comparing with r bar is equal to a bar plus t times b bar where t belongs to real numbers set of real numbers r bar is equal to second equation that is c bar plus s times d bar here s yes also scalar that belongs to real number r. here very interesting a bar is this vector 6i plus 2j plus 2k b bar is equal to i minus 2j plus 2k 
now c bar is equal to minus 4i minus k whereas d bar is equal to 3i minus 2j and minus 2k. So, in the part of our plan now a bar minus c bar let us find out let it be evaluated here. So, what is a here also from this also we can write that is 6 i plus 2 j plus 2 k minus c, c is this one minus 4 i minus k. So, let it be simplified. So, as to get a bar minus c bar vector. So, this is 6 i plus 2 j plus 2 k minus into minus plus 4 i plus k minus into minus plus k. So, now 6 i plus 4 i that is 10 i 2 j 2 k plus k is 3 k. Now, we need to find out b cross d. Now, b cross d. So, b cross d means as for the definition of the cross product between the two vectors i j k that of b this will be the b correct c this will be the c. Now, their only components write down. So, that means here 1 minus 2 2 1 minus 2 2. So, here 3 minus 2 minus 2 am I correct 3 minus 2 minus 2. 3 minus 2 minus 2. So, now we need to find out the determinant of this vector. So, this can be written in terms of i j k only i bracket minus j of because expand by r 1. The sign is cofactor sign plus minus plus. So, plus minus plus k times bracket. So, deleting this row, this column, determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix minus 2 into minus 2 plus 4, minus of minus plus 2, 2 into 2 plus 4. Carefully, you have to simplify this one. So, deleting this row, this column, determinant of 1, 2, 3, minus 2, minus 2 into 1, minus 2, minus 3 into minus 2, minus 6. Next, cofactor of k, deleting this row, this column, determinant of this matrix, minus 2 into 1, minus 2, minus 3 into minus 2, plus 6. Okay. So, this will be, this will be simplified like this, 8i minus 8 into minus plus 8j plus 4k. So, now let us find out the modulus of b cross d. So, now modulus of b cross d which equals to modulus of 8i plus 8j plus 4k. Okay. What is the modulus of a1i plus b1j plus c1k that is root over a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square. So, in the similar manner here also we can write 8 square plus 8 square plus 4 square root over this will be 64 plus 64 plus 16. This is root over 64 plus 64 is 128, 128 plus 16 is 144. Am I correct? This will be 144. Square root of 144 is 12. So, now the distance between the skew lines is given by. So, distance between 1 and 2. 
is d is equal to mod of because in order to avoid the negative sign always distance is measured in positive sense itself only. So, that means, but before going to distance that formula d formula we have what is that a minus c dot b cross d mod of b cross d. So, this is the formula. So, as we know this formula, now we need to find out one more vector that is a minus c dot b cross d we need to find out. So, now let us calculate a bar minus c bar dot b cross d vector. So, this equals to a bar minus c bar is equal to this one. So, what is b bar cross d bar? So, this one. Okay. Now, let us find out dot product between these two vectors that is 10 i plus 2 j plus 3 k dot product with b cross d that is 8 i plus 8 j plus 4 k. Now, this equals to 10 into 8 80, 2 into 8 plus 16, 12. This is 80 plus 16 plus 12, 8, 10, 108, correct? This equal to 108. So, now with the help of this formula, let us find out D. So, D is equal to distance between the skew lines. Therefore, distance between skew lines, skew lines 1 and 2 is D is equal to. So, we have this formula. Once again, let us write it a bar minus c bar dot b bar cross d bar divided by modulus of b bar cross d bar mod modulus. So, this equals to, so what is the value of this one? 108 divided by, so modulus of b cross d is equal to 12. So, now 108 divided by 12. 12 1 ja, 12 9 ja. So, 9 units. So, this is the distance between the skew lines. So, in this way you can find out the distance between the skew lines. Already we have discussed two problems on this one because it is very very important problem. So, once again you practice more problems from different test books or your reference test books.